Till now, you might have seen a variety of gaming laptops on my channel, even including the King Kong of all laptops. But what I'll be showing you in today's video is gonna completely blow your mind. Let's get started. Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. It's been quite some time, right? I haven't posted any video on the channel. Well, the reason for that is, as I've told you in my previous video, I'm actually shifting my studio to a new place and I was all caught up in that and that is the reason my videos got a bit delayed. But don't worry, we have successfully shifted to our new place. This is actually my new place only, but it's not yet ready, guys. See, shifting a studio and setting it up is not gonna happen in just like three to four days, right? It's gonna take some time, at least like 10 days or at least two weeks so please bear with me till then so keeping that aside uh, coming back to today's video guys as i've told you just now we're gonna check out an amazing gaming laptop and by looking at the video's title itself you might have understood what that is well this is the godzilla of all gaming laptops and that is especially because of the specs that it's packing so this is from rog guys this is rog's 2021 edition the scar 15 gaming laptop and the model we have right now is a top spec variant guys that packs Ryzen 9 5900HX CPU paired with RTX 3080 GPU and also has some killer specs and features like what more can you ask on a gaming laptop I'm like super excited to unbox and show you how this laptop looks like so without wasting any more time let's get started Alright guys, here's our brand new ROG Strix Scar 15 2021 edition. It's the highest spec variant available and trust me, this is gonna blow your mind. Laptop comes in this sort of box packaging. You've got the ROG logo everywhere and going to the back side, we've got the specs of the product. The model we'll be reviewing today is called G533Q, but let me tell you there are almost like 3 to 4 different variants available that come with different GPUs and different display configurations. My model comes with a 1440p display with 165Hz refresh rate. There's also a 1080p model with ultra high 300Hz refresh rate. So check which one you want before actually buying one. The SCAR 15 is powered by AMD's Ryzen 9 5900HX CPU and NVIDIA's RTX 3080 GPU. Has 32GB DDR4 RAM, OnePlus 1TB PCI Gen 3 storage in RAID 0 configuration and comes with a 90Wh battery. Here you go guys, the ROG Strix SCAR 15 2021 edition. Holy smokes. Wow, we'll just come back to this in a moment. First, let me also show you the accessories. The laptop has a customizable design where you can easily replace the armor cap as per your taste. You get a 20 volt 12 amp power adapter for charging, a mains card for the adapter. Oh, there's also a free keychain in the package. And that is it guys, these are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let's have a closer look at the laptop and talk about the design and the build quality. ROG SCAR 15 is one heck of a beautiful looking laptop. It's got a complete stealth black look with a diagonal slash and a dot matrix pattern on the left side. To the right you've got an ROG logo that is RGB illuminated and I have to say the build quality of the product is very good. The top lid is made of metal while the rest of the body is actually plastic. And yes just like any other gaming laptop it's a bit heavy and weighs around 2.3 kgs. I also like this pattern they've added on the hinge and as mentioned earlier the ROG armor plate on it is customizable. It's got a spring type mechanism so you can easily remove and replace this cover anytime. So what I'll do is I'll give you a closer look on all the sides and show you the available connectivity ports on it. To the left there's an exhaust vent, two super speed USB 3.0 ports and a 3.5mm audio jack. And you see this translucent white strip all around the bottom side. Well, that is ROG's exclusive Aura Sync RGB light bar that gives a beautiful underglow effect to the laptop. There's nothing on the front and going to the right, over here there's one more exhaust vent and a special keystone. I'll tell you about this at a later part in the video. And at the back side is where you've got all the remaining ports. Now here's a special easter egg included. I wonder if anyone has actually found out. You see this text over here that says MMVI. It actually translates to 2006 in Roman numerals which is the exact year when ROG was established. At the center you've got one more USB 3.0 port, a Type-C port, HDMI, Ethernet port and lastly a DC in port for charging. And this is how it looks from the bottom side. Plenty of vents for air circulation here, rubber foot pads on all the corners and these two are the speakers. Now talking about the upgradability part, 
Both the RAM and SSD on it are upgradable. The bottom panel comes off quite easily, exposing two RAM slots and two M.2 slots. Well, that was our complete overview on the exterior. Now let's open the laptop and show you how the interiors look like. There you go. Looks pretty similar to the previous gen with slight design changes. The SCAR 15 comes with a 15.6 inch 1440p IPS display with 165Hz refresh rate and 3ms response time and also supports adaptive sync technology. The bezels are also very thin on the sides and the top but the bottom bezel is definitely a bit thick. And as usual there is no webcam even on the 2021 edition. Why ROG you could have added that, it's quite necessary these days. Anyways, moving on, here's how the lower half section looks like. It's got a two-tone design with a diagonal slash and features a translucent keyboard deck, meaning you can actually see the interiors of the laptop. Pretty cool, right? So first, let me tell you about the keyboard. Now, this one is special. The SCAR 15 2021 edition comes with an all-new optical mechanical keyboard. And let me tell you, I love the way the keys feel on it, especially the sound. It's a great keyboard that is quite responsive, accurate, and extremely durable. Offers a nice comfortable experience while using with a 1.9mm key travel and the quality of the keys is top notch. Not to forget, it's got per key RGB lighting and is fully customizable using ROG's Armory Crate software. Coming to the touchpad, it's a glass covered premium touchpad and is a bit larger than before. Pretty nice, easily recognizes all my gestures and inputs and didn't face any sorts of dead zones also anywhere. But unfortunately, ROG removed those dedicated left and right click buttons and integrated them in the touchpad itself. Why ROG? I really loved having them on my previous model. And as usual, by long touching this area, you can activate the number pad on the touchpad. And this is that keystone I was talking about. It's upgraded to Mark II. So basically, it's an NFC key that unlocks a hidden shadow drive on the laptop that only you can access or you can access some personalized settings and you know, stuff like that. So now let's talk about the main part guys, the display. As mentioned earlier, the SCAR 15 comes with a 15.6 inch 1440p IPS display with 100% DCI-P3 color gamut. And the thing that makes it special for gaming is, it's got a high refresh rate of around 165Hz with 3ms response time, but it's actually 10ms grey to grey. And let me tell you, the display quality is excellent. There's great amount of detail and the text looks sharp and crisp. Everything is like very easily readable. The colors are also rich and vibrant. Since it supports 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, it's great for your productive and creative sort of applications as well, as the color reproduction was on point and quite accurate. The panel was also decently bright with good dynamic range. And coming to the audio, it's got quad speakers, two are full range speakers, each of four watts and two more tweeters. The sound quality was very nice with great clarity and the output was also loud and satisfying. Just check out this sample so you'll get an idea. 5000 series APUs, they're based on 7 nanometer process and feature Radeon built-in graphics, you know, the Vega 6, 7 and Vega 8 built -in. Okay, I know this is a part you've been waiting for, so let's talk about the performance. The SCAR 15 packs killer specs on the inside. It's powered by Ryzen 9 5900HX, which is an 8-core 16-thread CPU with a max boost frequency of up to 4.6 GHz and comes with RTX 3080 mobile GPU. Now, this is a beefy 115W Max-Q variant and can also be pushed up to 130 watts with Dynamic Boost 2.0 by setting the laptop to Turbo Profile mode. Not to forget 32 gigs of RAM clocked at 3200 MHz and OnePlus 1 TB PCI Gen 3 performance SSD in RAID 0 configuration. With specs like this, there's nothing this laptop can't handle. On Geekbench 5, we got a single core score of around 1434 and a multi core score of 8187. I've been using it for the past few days, right? The laptop runs like muska on a day to day usage. No matter what heavy task you throw at it, it can handle it like a breeze. And yes, you can even do your heavy workloads like 4K video editing very easily on this model. No sweat at all. Now coming to gaming, oh boy, you're gonna love this part. This baby can handle any AAA title game with ultra graphics at buttery smooth frame rates. And to put that to a test, I'll be playing Cyberpunk 2077 with both RTX off and RTX on. And based on this, you can easily tell what this laptop is actually capable of. As you can see, currently we're playing this game at 1080p resolution with the graphics set to ultra preset and ray tracing is off. Let's see how it goes.
Oh my God. Are you guys looking at those frame rates? We were easily getting around 60 to 75 FPS on an average. Damn, I never thought that I could actually play Cyberpunk at maximum graphics this smoothly on a laptop. Quite impressive and games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, RDR2, Far Cry 5 were running around 110 to 120 FPS at ultra graphics. I'm telling you right, you're gonna love playing games on this laptop. Buttery smooth experience. But I do have to mention, it does get quite hot and produces a lot of fan noise, especially in the turbo mode. The area above the keyboard gets pretty hot, reaching around 55 degrees centigrade. And if you ask about the internal temperatures, you can see them on the screen itself. Now talking about the fan noise, the fan noise can get pretty loud and disturbing in the turbo mode, but at the same time, it stays quiet most of the time during normal usage in the silent profile mode. Alright, now let's also turn ray tracing on and check out how it performs. Okay, as you can see with the graphics preset set to ultra and ray tracing on and DLS is also turned on, we were getting around like 45 to 50 FPS on Cyberpunk 2077. Not bad at all. <laughs> Lastly, let's also play our all-time favorite GTA 5 and see how it performs. Well, we'll be playing this game at 1440p resolution and all the graphics set to maximum mode. So let's see how it goes. Okay, now this is quite interesting. At 1440p resolution maximum graphics, on GTA 5, we were easily getting an average of around 110 to 120 FPS. That is pretty awesome, right? So we're almost coming to an end. Let me tell you about the battery life. I'd say the battery life is average just like any other gaming laptop, but has definitely improved over their previous generation. On a moderate kind of usage like browsing the web, streaming videos, light photo editing at 60% brightness in the silent profile mode, I was getting around 5.5 to 6 hours of battery life. But not to worry, it does support fast charging and tops up the battery very quickly. Well, that's it guys, that was my video on the new ROG Strix Car 15 2021 edition. It's a great gaming laptop that offers killer specs and top-notch performance. I love the design, especially those RGB elements, has a great quad HD display, powerful no compromise hardware on the inside and fairly good quad speakers. But it does have some cons as well, like there is no webcam on it, that is a big bummer. There's no Thunderbolt support also, no MUX switch, no card reader slot as well. And lastly, as mentioned earlier, the CPU and GPU temperatures were getting a bit hot, especially while gaming and heavy workloads. I hope ASUS could look into this and do something about that. Anyways, the pricing of the base variant starts at 1.5 lakh rupees and goes up all the way up to 2.3 lakhs depending on the configuration. I'll just leave links to them in the description box below, you can check it out there. So that's it for today, I hope you all enjoyed the video and got to learn a lot. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.